I brought us a couple of giveaways for you know for whatever. I mean, you know, anybody wants a hat. Got some got some boots here. Nobody loading up the truck, so I was like, I just had stuff I gotta get rid of. So you're welcome to it. I mean some of this stuff is like been around for a minute. Uh, it depends on what you're fishing for. I mean you can I mean, find the fish. Okay. That'd be, that'd be, the that'd be real good for what I mean, here. I mean obviously this one is a little bit a little bit heavier, you know, but the backspin doesn't work on that one, but and then of course this is like a uh, a pen. It's like a like a power stick. That's heavy. You can use that for that's surf heavy. right there. Yeah. But you can use it for surf, but again, that's you know yeah. kind of you know repair, but have at it. Like I said, a couple of hats. Hats you see me wearing on the uh, on the channel. So have at it. But I mean, you know, I mean, you know, you know, that's that's a formal type thing. I mean really just just wanted to come out and holler. What's up my man? How you doing, man? This this dude from Raleigh I always tell you about. Oh yeah. what's your name? Okay. Yes, he speaks of you. I hear about everybody, like when he encounters people, like I met somebody else today. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Everywhere I go, they talk about him. Really? I talked about him last night down in Wrightsville. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, don't be shy, man. You have to remember this. It's all day five. Yeah, is that the guy fishing? That was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I know. I'm, I'm sad for him having to leave the coast, but that's like... Gotta pursue my dream. Mm -hmm. I'm Kim. I met him at Bryce when you guys moved down here. Oh, okay, yeah, because you used to always be out there fishing. I think that's when I fished with you Like the video that Les has up right now was me learning from him. You know, Les is like, he's big on the Carolina rig, you know, which, 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 which I love too. And it's like, you know, but I feel like I couldn't necessarily do it in these rocks as much, you know, because it's like there's a lot of structure. But as I remember catching the first one over, and I was like, okay, I'm on my way. I was like, I actually can feel the bite. Mm -hmm. and then it was like, like once you once you once you feel it, and you know what that bite feel like. Yeah. It's like you don't never forget it. It's like you, it's like you kind of get, you kind of get almost kind of close your eyes. You just feel like that little tug. Yeah. I mean, you do gotta feel it. Your hand. I mean, you gotta stay with that hand. Yeah. You and then the other thing is too, though. You got wind blowing and all that stuff though, it's really hard to feel it, it you know. It's really hard. And sometimes like I, I might just go do something else then. You know yeah. I mean? like, because like you can't fish. If you flatter fish, it's the same way. You know, you gotta feel it. You gotta feel it in your, in your hand. You know that bite, you gotta wait a couple seconds and all that stuff. Don't feel but that wind constantly moving, your line moving, it's like it's like no no hope sometimes. Yeah. Determine where your weight's gonna be, then it's gonna run your line. I mean I still get hung. I mean you just don't see me. I don't film all the hangs, you know. I edit, I edit some of that stuff out. But um, so I mean, I do still get hung. Don't don't be misled and think. I mean, I probably get hung every time I come out here. Um, you got good on that editing. Yeah, yeah. I see that, you. I see you. I like, that, like he upgraded big time. That was uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? We have what's our Premier Pro. Premier Pro. Yeah, okay. Adobe. Use, uh, actually, you know, she she got a YouTube channel, so I was just kind of like, I like to fish, you know. So I was like, that's I was like, well, I need to just put my camera behind me, and it's always weird because it's like you probably mm -hmm. think. Sometimes you'll see me do a video and, and I don't talk much or I'll do a voiceover. That's because people are around me and it's like, I don't want to look like a crazy man. It's like, who are you talking to? I turn around and I'm talking to the camera be like, you know, and it's like even like the, the one she said I caught a couple weeks ago and it's like, I turned around and I was like, I hooked it. But I was like, I really didn't know if I was going to land it. Mm. You know, and cause I was like, this thing was heavy. You know, that, that nine, that nine pound one. I was like, if we get this one, we'll be lucky. Cause I mean, he was like, all I could do is hold on. I couldn't muscle him nothing. But that was one thing I noticed with those is that they fight good for a couple of minutes and then they they give up. They give up pretty quick because they're like a striper, same thing. Yeah, but um, but I, I definitely was saying. I mean, how many of you guys have used sand fleas as bait before? That sand flea video, that's the best one yeah. on YouTube. I watched that video on the beach. Awesome. Good, good. Hi, um, Jr. Shout out to you. This guy from guy came up from Charlotte. Um, he came and actually I met him over on that side. from a video a little, a little while back, and he was using sand fleas. And he said he hadn't fished much, but he was using sand fleas, and that kind of that piqued my curiosity about sand fleas, um, like probably like four weeks ago. And um, that's when I really started going after this. I was like, I've never really given them a shot. Kind of like where Les was saying, go after one species and, and do that. I was like, I'm gonna go after this one bait for like, I'm just gonna go after it for a minute and see what happens. And I was like, black drum, sheep said, I caught that red, the red where you saw my rod was bent where I was fishing, yeah. talking to the guy and the rod was bent. That was like right over here on this corner. And, um, but that, I mean, he just, I mean, so sand fleas to me, I mean, it's like they, everything likes it. And it's like, I don't feel like I catch as many fish with sand fleas, but when I get something, it's a good one. 
you know. Wait, 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 I haven't really, I haven't ventured into the frozen ones. I mean, that's 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 one thing I want to probably want to do over the next couple of days. Is, Cause I've heard you had to blanch them for them not to turn black. I don't know if you experimented with them or not. I heard that. Too. I've heard you had to blanch them, but I. So I think I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to maybe take some with me and put them in the freezer, and maybe when I take one of these trips to the Mobile or Savannah, try them. I mean, I know they sell them frozen, so I guess yeah, they have to be. But I had one of my buddies that was a really good fisherman that doesn't live in this area anymore either. It told me that the dead ones really aren't that great. Yeah, no, but then again, in the same sense, I found out that people, um, you can buy frozen fiddler crabs. I, mean, you, you, I, didn't, I didn't know that. You, 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 you'll catch them. Yeah, your fiddler crab, you'd about right here. That fiddler crab right, right but I didn't know they were good frozen. Dude, the dude told me, he was like, I got frozen fiddler crabs. I was like, I was like, you sure? I was like, you, I was like, you mean sand fleas? He's like, no fiddler crabs. I was like, I didn't know they sold those frozen. Yeah, see, only about those, only about those, those good. <laughs> only about them, though, the, um, like they, they get soft. Yeah. They get soft, easy to come off. Yeah, this is, uh, that is, that's probably 20. Yeah, that's 20, 20. That's 14, but it has a, um, that has a diameter of six, so that might work for you. And that's great. Yeah. So. Not for mine. I've got my best luck. I mean, if I, if I get anything later in the day, at least recently, it's been the fishing snows cut. I, I've kind of been, I've been hovering over snows cut for over yeah, a while. Yeah, reason why, reason why, reason why I'm doing the same way with you. Reason why I think though, like during the daytime, a lot of stuff going on, boats going yeah, around, yeah, all yeah, this yeah, stuff yeah. going, all this. That's the fish ain't trying to be around all this stuff. Right, They're right. gonna go somewhere with secluded at. You know what I'm saying? That's where you gotta go. Yeah. That's the reason why you catch me at port yeah. fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Down there yeah, in some places yeah. now because the fishes though, they ain't trying to hang with all, all that stuff going crazy. In the morning time, boats, all that stuff not going on. You know what I'm saying? Same thing like if I was catfishing even up at, uh, 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 what's it called? Um, like a damn one. Some of y'all know y'all seen the picture. I'll go in the morning time. Why don't yeah. both start moving around like crazy? Mm -hmm. They out of there. Appreciate it, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, man. Pretty good. Good, man. There are a bunch of for you. You oh, see yeah, a boat on the water, a triumph boat, white. Right, Name of the boat is nice nothing man. but trouble. Okay, YouTube family. This is it. It's official. We're all packed up. It's been a great ride. It's been a great five years. I do want to give a very special shout out to Edwin and um, Cynthia for coming over and helping me load up. And also a special shout out to Bumper. A Bumper, uh, I'm sorry, Bumper. For coming over and uh, helping me load up as well. And uh, again, the guys came out to the meetup. Much love. It's been a good ride. So I'm going to pull this down and uh, I'm going to see you guys in Atlanta. All right, so we are all moved in and unpacked for the most part, thanks to wifey. And uh, we are here in Georgia. I'm actually at a lake uh, by the name of Sweetwater Creek State Park. And uh, you can see the water out in the distance here. And um, I'm not fishing today because I actually have no Georgia driver's license and no Georgia fishing license, both of which I'm gonna need before I can start fishing. So got a little, uh, background work to do before I actually get my line wet but I did want to let you know that I've made it here and I have found the water people fishing today today is Labor Day um, but it's quite hot um, I have not seen any fish come up yet um, but um, I did actually see some bait fish in the water some little bluegill and I think I saw a little bass uh, in the water over there uh, so uh, stay tuned for more fishing I'll be exploring some other locations as well but uh, this does seem to be a pretty nice location um, family friendly uh, very public out in the open which I like and um, the park actually closes at dark so you know I could come on a Saturday during the day fish all day and um, maybe fill up a cooler and you can see here if wifey will swing around they do have kayaks and things you can rent um, as well as paddle boats and um, also John boats which will be the way that I will likely be going I actually do have a kayak canoe type boat of my own uh, that I will very likely bring and save a few coins in that capacity. So uh, just checking in. And uh, again, special shout out to uh, Les over on Addiction to the Wild. Special shout out to Edwin and Cynthia for coming and helping us load up. Special shout out to Bumper for coming and help us load up, you know, because that was quite a task. And um, also want to give a special shout out to Kim's new cousin. My new cousin. <laughs> My newfound cousin. Your newfound cousin. Yeah, <laughs> Brad. Brad. So, Brad, thank you. You were a guardian angel helping us get unpacked and, you know, helping us with the movers and all that good stuff. Appreciate you. And the that, soul food. The soul food was on point. 
So um, surely it will not be the last time I eat that. And I believe it was called This Is It. So um, that's it for now. So no lines getting wet today, but uh, wanted to let you know that I made it safe and sound and uh, more to come. This is Chris signing out. Be kind to the fish. NFL has is having open tryouts. I don't know if this is allowed or not. I might be breaking the rules. But we're getting this quarterback in the making on film. Come on, QB. Gonna get an over the shoulder, over the shoulder view. There it is.